Okay, so we're back, and we're at Tuesday now. There's nothing really new. I mean, I got all the pretty much all the items. That was just a cakewalk until we get to the, you know, part. Hey, Hank. What do you want, Steve? Still sick, huh? That's right. I think I got the flu. Oh, no, he's got the coronavirus. Gonna have to put him down. Stopped watching television and went to bed. Shut up, Steve. Be quiet with the <laughs> what? Just leave me alone, Steve. Believe me. You got your own problem. Tell me about it. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomach ache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking it. I couldn't go to school because I'm yeah, sick. Yeah, Rawhide's really good. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Okay. Cowboy show, school, or Daddy. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Yeah. Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television. No, you haven't, Steve. Color has been invented for another, like, Steve, five years. Hell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. Wow, this is America's and apple pie and low to SAT and scores. Besides, and you're right, this is really, yeah, this is realistic I'm response. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Thanks, Hank, you're a fucking asshole. Okay, why not just tell me where I am? Because that's a dumb question. And you're not fooling me with that magnesia stuff. Milk of magnesia. Amnesia, you mean. All right, fine. But will you at least tell me what school you go to? Why do you want to know that, the Steve, you fucking creep? Everyone in Harvest graduates from one way or another. I don't understand. What does that mean? You're not supposed to. Yet. Wait, was that foreshadowing? Is that, like, actually foreshadowing? Your dad is asleep? He and Mom He's your dad, too. Night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What did she... Like, you don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now. Huh. Too bad you wouldn't pay me, and I had to tell. Huh? Hank, I will punch you in the arm. About? What girl? What? Is there another one, too? Wait till I tell. Oh, my God. I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? Hey, Steve's a player. You think I'm dumb or something? Actually, it looks no, underage I woman. I can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. Well, I thought what? it was three weeks. Leave me alone so I can watch TV. How long have I been here? That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it. Yeah, it is really weird. It's like totally a retro. rectangle. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. That's not true. Sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Hey, I've seen this one before. It's a classic. Yeah, but look at the tube. That's actually, that's actually a pretty good reception for 1955 or whatever. Okay. What's that? I... Now that I think about Remote it... Remote controls have worked back mm -hmm. then. They were really early, but... Retro they knew what the word retro was. No, retro. It means... It means... Oh, man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. Say what? Okay, Hank. Good. Finally. <laughs> Sounds like Bugleberry. Techno remix. Oomts, 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 oomts. No, don't go back in the bedroom. Go. I look so threatening with this fucking shovel, like I'm just gonna bash him in the head. Um... Hey, you want Range Rogers autograph? I know you're a fan of him. Big Whoop, Steve. Big Whoop! It's Range... You're really watching his show. Don't you want his autograph? I'm trying to be nice to you, you piece of shit. Pass through for the kitchen. Okay, uh, how about this? You want this? Big Whoop, Steve. Okay, Big Whoop, I guess. More cookies? Do you want this? Stop wasting my time, young man. I don't know what the fuck the point of gave the tampons dear. is. How are you today?
Stop speaking nonsense, dear. That wasn't nonsense. Don't forget to put the. Yeah, I know, Jimmy. I think I already got a newspaper in my thing, but I'll take another one. No, I can't. Never mind. I'll just fuck myself. That's cool. Hey, Jimmy. I got a little present for you, Jimmy Jim. It's your favorite. It's a brand new pair of shoes. That don't mean zip to me. Oh, that wasn't the shoes. That was okay. A brand new pair of shoes, only with a little blood on them, but you can just look them off. Swell. Here's the keys to the broom closet at Gein Memorial. Gein. We meet every day, about 3:45, as soon as everyone has gone home. Sometimes I hide in there beforehand. Daddy, -o, I see some stuff that's real nasty. Take it from me. You made a good. You haven't seen anything nasty yet until you've seen Steve's fucking internet history. Okay, here's your fucking stupid paper, you stupid little bitch. There now, see how easy it is? That was the hardest challenge ever. Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. And let's keep them that way. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what, Jimmy? Yeah. You know what? Things are easier when I just give you the fucking paper for absolutely no reason. You know what? You're all right. Here. Oh, no. God damn it. I'm fucking done. I'm killing this motherfucker. I'm killing this motherfucker with the shovel. I'm doing it. You gotta, no, you, got, you gotta glitch him out. You gotta glitch him out. If you don't glitch him out, you can't kill him. I want his gun. You can actually get his gun this way if you do it. I'm gonna show you how. But it's my take a minute, okay? Yeah. This loading screen sucks. You gotta, you gotta kind of like, like, like cheese it, you know? No. Die, bastard child. Die, spot of Satan. Come. Get the <gasps> no. Oh. <gasps> you could kill him. I know you can. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. If we don't, we don't. If you can do it. It's like really difficult, and it like requires a lot of fucking like trial and error. As long as you stun lock him. Give me one, give me one second. Okay, I reload the game. If you like reload the game, so that you can like stun lock him. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. yeah. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got the kid. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Jimmy James. Fuck you and your stupid newspaper. Oh, I did get the fucking gun. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was the whole point of killing him was to get the fucking gun. Oh, God. Fucking damn stupid exit key. Oh. No, I'm killing this motherfucker. I'm getting him. I'm getting his... I'm, gun I'm gunning for his ass. I'm motherfucking gunning for his ass. I might have to reload the game now because of this. God fucking damn it. This always happens. But yeah, you could totally kill him. You could totally kill this motherfucker. Oh my god. Yeah, there's like a like a very special way you yeah, gotta yeah, do it. I'm just gonna pause the recording until I kill him again, okay? I got him! I got him! I got him! I got the key in the gun! Am I hurt? Only a little bit. I got a pistol, but no ammo, so that was fucking useless. But I also got a key to the broom closet, but I already had the broom closet key. So, yeah. Fuck you, Jimmy James. Yeah, how do you like that, you piece of shit? Huh? How do you like that, huh? How do you like that in your fucking newspaper, huh? Huh, you piece of, you little bastard? You little, you little middle society? Get fucked. What? Why am I not being arrested right now? No, usually the cops come and, like, pick you up when you do that, but, like, what? Where, where are the cops? Whatever, I got what I needed.
Wait, what? Oh, get get the camera. Get the camera. I don't know why they're just doing that. You're busted. What am I, like Candace from Phineas and Ferb? Mom! Miss Haney and Mr. Harrow are fucking the broom closet. Huh? What? Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? Think of the scandals, are the headlines. Us, you little <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Harrow. Stephen would never do that. He's a smiley bear. But we should give him a token of our appreciation for his silence. Here, Stephen, take this baseball bat. You'll find it quite useful. Yeah, I could have used it while I beat the shit out of fucking Jimmy James. I probably didn't even kill him. I just bashed him with a shovel. Alright, maybe I could use a good solid bat. That a boy. Take the bat. And we'll take the photo. However will I keep the children in line now? I have a spare I can bring in tomorrow. Unless you'd prefer a chainsaw this time. <laughs> I'll talk to Mrs. Phelps. Well. You know what? They'd make a cute couple. Where's that going? Police station, right? Police station. Fuck, I need to check to make sure my recording's still good. Yeah, my recording's fine. Okay, I'm gonna save the game, because killing Jimmy James is too funny not to leave in. Wait, I wanna save it as something else. Can I save it as, like, a different thing? I don't know why there's a baby crying. <laughs> he's, he's still running that bug report. Y you get it? Hey, Loomis. Kiddo, you brought me any of them girly picture books? No, I didn't. No, sorry. Oh, heck. Why should you be any different? I already got you some rain material yesterday. Mrs. Loomis. Steve. I'd be right obliged if you could just seek clear to bringing me just one of them books. I but already it, did. It'll be worth your time to do it. I already did, though. Get a time, kiddo. Whatever. I don't know why I was going there. I don't remember why I was doing Right, right, watch. Let's, let's just do the fucking objective. Hello, I'm back. I take it you wish to be initiated into the mysteries of the order. Did being the shit out of Jimmy James count as like a, like an objective? Because I, I I fucking ganked his ass, man. No, I got changed. I changed my. I got bad feeling about this damn place. A bad feeling. That is something children get when the closet <laughs> is cracked open at night, or a woman alone on the highway gets when her engine starts squealing and shaking. Her yeah, that's the same feeling I'm getting right now, buddy. No, I want to proceed. I just want to see what you'd say. Then there is no need to continue. You are lower than dust. The chaff Wait, no, no don't tell me I failed. Beware, the harvest approaches. No, I, I don't want to be the dust. I take it you yes, I want to know what you know in the know. Well, know then that securing the application was but the first step on your road. Great, you gonna send me on a fucking scavenger hunt? Minor pranks, really. I like pranks. Overly difficult. More tests of wit than prowess. But to complete them, you must, if you wish to enter these walls. Minor prank, eh? I'll bet. I'll bet. What have you got in mind? There is in Harvest a man named. I Mr. want you Johnson. to go up to random black people and ask them about the president. Or scuff their sneakers. In it. A scratch. That's all. How big of a scratch? As I said, a minor prank. Mind you, you're not to damage the. But vehicle. scratching it does damage Even the vehicle. A single scratch in it. Once you have done so, return here. Do you want me to like carve the H logo into the car? I don't know what you, what what the hell you're talking about. Whatever. Okay. There is in harvest a man. A scratch. Okay. You just tell me the same thing. 
I like that sound. Be that beat Cotton Eye Joe. I have been married a long time ago. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Okay, get out of here. Where, where's his house? Where's Tucker's house? Oh wait, no, I need to go to the fucking the the fucking where 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 the fuck am I going? I need to the post office right here. You gotta grab this. Yeah, okay, you still have the cover, the manhole cover, whatever. Oh, you need the lube, right? You need to lube up the manhole cover. Yeah, this is like the fucking bullshit I was telling you about. A jar of oil, oil lube, and we're not gonna use it on ourselves. We're gonna use it on this. That should loosen up a bit. Wait, did I take it? No. Oh, man. Oh, man. Are you gonna say anything new? Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. You sound just like the guy from Dead Rising 2. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. The other guy was a voice by Eddie. Okay. What? Nightfall descends upon harvest. That's a very rusty tractor. Guys, it looks like it has a face on it, doesn't it? Okay, it's dark now, it's nighttime. Oh, oh man, what would happen if you like just scratched the Tucker right here? Like, would he get pissed? I bet he would. Okay. There's no way this dude is like creepy like watching out the fucking, you know. Can I turn the fucking brightness up? Like the... Oh, oh god, oh god, Discord white theme, oh god. Oh, that actually hurt my eyes, oh god, oh god. Well, if you ever want to like illuminate like your bedroom, can I just turn it up to... Like here? Here? Is that good? No, I do want it to be nighttime, I don't want to be that fucking dark. No, that's too light. That looks like it's fucking daytime. No, turn it. Bright fucking sun. Here. That, that'll do fine. Alley-oop. The cord of moisture is formed along the surface of the wheel valve. A bright light of steams are shooting across the ceiling. I don't think this is what the sewers actually look like. This looks like someone's creepy basement. Oh fuck, I forgot actually what to do. Um. Oh man. Wait, cord wall. Right? Just tie a ditch in the concrete. Okay, take the. There we go. Do, do a little happy dance. Look how creepy he's walking. He's like doing like a like a cartoon sneaking thing. If the oil cans are the floor, I, okay, this like must be like his little mechanic area. Special call wax order from the Hot Rod magazine. Large oil pan filled with nuts and bolts. Okay. And a new weapon, pitchfork. Yep, take that. The wheel's been bricked up and sealed off. These are some nice tires. Dolly must be useful after the wedding. Take the dolly. Cards packed and piled up against the wall. Just shot to prize possession. Well, we're not going to do anything with it just yet. Give me, give me a minute. We gotta look around. Just shot to the mirror of goodies on his tool bench. Cool. Edge on the side of the boat toward tree, sick of you, Edna. That's kind of sweet, a creepy way. This guy's became the middle of model to the postmaster's gas can. No, it's literally the same exact model. Heavy used tool sharpener and sander. Flashlights and missing batteries. The only time a heater appears usable is Phillips head screwdriver. Take that. We're useful for gophers. 
Wait, why can't I use this screwdriver I have here in case Phil was nothing but it's lit and sawdust? The annual blood drive has been marked out for the upcoming Saturday. The Fable 1948 Sexiest Tomboy Award. Nice. Good taste. Good taste, Mr. Johnson. How many license plates does Mr. Johnson need for October one year? Yeah, the Town of Harvest is in Texas. Whatever. Go. How do I... Get get out of the... Oh, here. Exit. Right. Yeah, you see, I don't think you can, like, use your screwdriver. You have to use, like, the... No, you can use any screwdriver. It doesn't matter. That was that was a very wonky cutscene, but whatever. We scratched the touch. Did it. Shots of prize possession. Now, what? Can I, can, I, can I screw it again? Nope. Tucker's all invitated. Okay. Chicanery most foul. Get out of here. Just leave. Can I, can I just go back home then? Or no, I have to go to the lodge. I pulled the epic funny prank. So you have completed your first task. Do I get a cookie? Now that you've scratched the tucker, you may proceed to your second task. You will steal a bolt of fabric from the fireman and bring it to me. Well that doesn't sound so hard. I see it's the largest prize of thieves. So care about your feelings. Only speculation, a realization which should give you scant comfort, considering that even memory is illusory, a chemical imprint on meat that, like what it is printed, must one day decay. Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. A simple no would have sufficed. You didn't have to give me that entire wall of fucking text. Gonna be the same fucking cutscene. I think it is. What do you people want from me? More power, sugar? Welcome to our world. More power, sugar? I don't think you actually see that burger anywhere in the entire game. Just there for absolutely no reason. If there is a way to find the burger, I haven't found it yet. Okay. Well, we're back here again. This is the good part. It's really the same exact episode from yesterday. More or less. I heard that someone said Karen. Little Miss Perfect gonna get famous. Gonna get a picture on a milk carton. Yeah. Well, I heard that Karen was gone. So I went over to Miss Fitzgerald's house and asked if I Oh, fuck. I think I missed Karen. something. I should have, like, gone to the graveyard. There's a cutscene with... stood there. You know, in the doorway and cry and cry and I just stood there wondering how long it would take for her to stop but she didn't 
Wow, you're a little troll. You're so a little I shit. Inside and watch TV, cause they've got color. I thought you did understand what color television was. Cause she runs the diner and all. And I sense she was feeling vulnerable. So I asked her to fix me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And she did. <laughs> then I went into Karen's bedroom and looked around for stuff I could take while Edna was in the bathroom with the water running. But all that there was was girl stuff. So I came home. But it was fun while it lasted. You're evil. That's hilarious. That No, that really is hilarious. I even had her turn the crust off. <laughs> and then... I ate it anyway. <laughs> she was crying so hard. I could have peeked into her dress if I wanted to. But hey, when a broad's got puffy eyes and a runny nose, who wants to peek at that? Fair enough. Oh, I love you, Hank. This is why you're the best. Okay, so. Good. Finally. Okay, so I kind of fucked up. Hang on. Okay, I gotta reload the game. Hang on a second, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta see if I missed something, because I wanna show you it, okay? Okay, give me a second. Okay, okay, I did miss something, but don't worry, we're here. Got the matches, and as you can see, Mr. Potsdam is digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Look at him. Hey, Mr. Potsdam, do you want some tampons? What are you doing here at this hour, Mr. Potsdam? <laughs> I'm burying our cat. She passed away. In a, I'm burying in a human funeral. In a minutes. human cemetery. Then, where's the cat? I I left her at home. Now leave me alone. What? Steve, what are you doing? He's like trying to shoot him, but he doesn't have any bullets. What? This kind of stuff can come back to haunt you. And your family. This kind of stuff can... This kind of stuff can... So, you didn't answer my question. Do you want these or not? I mean... This kind of stuff can come back to haunt you. Yeah, that's what period is, but like... Do you want them or not? I mean, just, I'm just carrying them around in my inventory for absolutely no reason. This kind... Can we take a picture? This kind... No, why, why can't we take a picture? Just like the perfect thing that... Can I kill him? I never actually tried. Let's let's try to kill him. Swing, bada bada, swing! It looks like I'm spanking him. Okay, this isn't very helpful, but it's funny, so, you know... Whack, 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 whack! Well, how about if I help you, dude? I mean, I got a shovel right here. How about if I help you? Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. This kind of stuff can... I mean, I could help you, dude. If you want... Okay. Whatever. See you, Mr. Possum. I'll be back once I go back. I mean, I, I, I... You know, I had to reload, so give me a minute. Okay, I know I said I would be back, but, uh... I run about use for gopher. That's a good one. Okay, I'm back, and here's what you gotta do. You gotta take out the fucking dolly. Like the, like the, like the moving dolly. You gotta go over here. <laughs> you gotta take off the alarm system right here. Turn off the alarm system. Good. Might as well talk to mom because she's here. Hello, dear. How are you today? By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson and he's lit. <laughs> Seems someone scratched up his priceless talk. Oh no, I wonder who could have done that. Who, be heck to pay. I bet. Edna's daughter Karen has disappeared. Karen was playing outside as Edna closed the diner, and that's the last anyone saw of her. Steve probably took her. Yeah. I haven't the foggiest idea. All I know is she went missing last night. But Steve, this isn't something you want to be concerned then why with. why would you tell me? me? You should be concentrating on joining the lodge, not some missing girl. Isn't a lost child everyone's concern? Then let everyone worry about it. This is nothing but a waste of time for you. If you spend your time in Harvest looking for Karen, you'll regret it. My okay, I'm back. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna show you some dialogue and we'll be right back, okay? I'm evil. 
He doesn't know what evil is. <laughs> Mom says the blood drive is coming, Steve. You'll like that. It's for a good cause. And only bad people don't get. Whatever you say, Hank. Good. Finally. Okay, so uh, I got my lunch or my dinner or whatever, and it was it was delicious, so I had to stop recording. That was what, that was what happened. Sorry about that. And we're just gonna get right back to it. If you're wondering what Pop ate, it was a fucking salmon burger with like cheese and mayonnaise and some chips. It was really really good. I mean, salmon burgers are amazing. It's it's like it's like the seafood of burgers, man. It's good. Where were we? We were doing something with mom, right? Hello, dear. By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson, and he's livid. Seems someone scratched up his priceless Tucker. If he finds out who, there'll be heck to pay. Edna's daughter Karen has disappeared. Karen was playing outside as Edna closed the diner, and that's the last anyone saw of her. Sounds like a real mystery. Wait, we, we already heard this part, right? Idea. All I know is she went missing last night. But Steve, this isn't something you want to be concerned with. Trust me. You should be concentrating on joining the lodge, not some missing girl. Isn't a lost child everyone's concern? Then let everyone worry about it. This is nothing. Aren't I a rough one? For you. Aren't I? Aren't, you aren't I part of that equation? Harvest, looking for Karen, you'll regret it. Well, I already know where she is. Harvest. You talk like I'm a visitor, Mom. Don't be silly, dear. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Oh, J oh, I know how it gets. He's fucking dead. I fucking blast his ass. He's gone. Oh, wait. Just in case. Okay, I don't see him. I think I think that we made the end of Jimmy. I think he's gone. He's done for. What? What? Hello? Game? What? What the fuck? What am I going to jail for? Oh, is this for killing Jimmy James? Boy, in Harvest, you can't just go around killing little children in public. <laughs> You're under arrest for murder in the first degree. Come with me. Nah, it's okay. Okay, Steve. <laughs> Consider your get out of jail free card used. You're free to go. Thank you. I just got one question for you. Yeah? How did it feel to You kill? already asked me that question. I've already killed Mr. McKnight. It felt great. <laughs> fuck it's fuck Jimmy James. Right? To see them twitch all over. Peel back their eyelids if you're fast enough. And watch the dark angel just reach right through the pupils and yank out the light. I mean, I didn't even really kill him. I just bashed him with a shovel They're and took his gun. more alone than when that happens. You can't share in it. You can only watch and try to keep from smiling. Holy shit, this dude's a really good actor. Wait, what, what, what happened? Don't take me home. Did I fuck up my save file because of this? Dude, it better not skip me a, skip the day. That pissed me off. <laughs> the fucking took a minute to the story of water. The blood splattered on the wall. Okay. Am I good then? Does anyone care that I killed that kid? Well. Okay, bye, Hank. Good. Steve's just turning to a fucking psychopath with a gun. Hello, dear. Okay, nobody cares. Don't forget to. Yeah, Jimmy's fucking dead. I just went to jail for it. Yeah, he, he's gone. And he's gone too, okay. Well, I already know where Karen is, so... But we're gonna talk to Edna first before we do that shit. Um, hang on a second. Oh, that, that shit's funny. Like, that, he, they found out, like, uh, two days ago when he didn't show up to collect everyone's paper and it was even missing in the first place. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking funny. Um... Uh, yeah, and does in wait, let's go to the lodge, get our assignment, and then we'll, and we'll do the rest. No, wait, no, wait, we should do the, the Karen thing, because I don't know. No, no, we gotta check and see if, if it skipped a day, because if it skipped a day, then I'm in trouble. So, you have now that you've scratched. 
Okay, bolt the fireman. Very well then. Use whatever means necessary. I mean, I've already killed two people, so. To me here, and I shall give you your third task. Okay, whatever you say, bud. Hi, Karen. I can't stop and chat, Steve. With Karen gone, if I stop, I think I'll lose my mind. I've got to keep busy. Busy. Excuse me. God, I, I feel so bad for Edna. She's like the nicest person in this town. You know, though I don't like to think ill of people or take pleasure in the misfortunes of others, I'd like to think it's a comeuppance for all the times that... Oh, yeah, I better go talk to Mr. Johnson. Me. See how pissed off he is. Can we just talk to Karen? Thank you for asking, but since she disappeared, it's too painful for me to talk about her. Other than the diner, she was all I had. I've gone to the sheriff, and Range Rider is running announcements hourly at the TV. Wow, station. that's really nice of them. I've even thought of petitioning the Order of the Harvest Moon. God help me. I'm that desperate. But so far, I've heard nothing. I've posted a reward to whoever finds her. Maybe that'll help. I just wish we Reward you say? Well. I was closing up the diner for the night, and I let Karen play outside the diner for only a few minutes. Play outside how? Like Harvest, you trust your neighbors. Sure, it was dark out. I was closing up late. But the police being shut in all day helping in the kitchen, I, I didn't think anything would happen. Well, at least you got some flowers out of the deal. Oh my god, Steve, no. Oh, oh Steve, no. <laughs> what? That's not the bad response? Oh, yeah, and sympathy. Well, I actually haven't seen this cutscene. What? I posted a reward to whoever finds her. Perhaps that will help. I just beg you, please. I can't talk about it anymore. How much are you offering a reward money? Because I might actually be able to help you. I can't st Reward. Sorry, I missed that. Too noisy in here. Okay, okay, you're dodging the subject. Okay, I get it. Fuck you then. I'll leave your daughter die. No, I'll, I'll rescue. I'll find her. I know where she is. I probably should have gotten her earlier because you know, she's probably going to suffocate this fucking funeral, you know, the cemetery plot, but whatever. Hey, Karen. Ta-da! Thank God I found you. I that was easy. Karen. I want to go home. Could you take me to my mommy's store? Or to the policeman? I'll take you to your mommy's you store. Well, it's thing? a diner, but whatever. Mr. Potsdam You're... told me he'd hurt my mommy if I You were could. stuck in that hole a long time. I'm not surprised if you don't have brain damage. Tell me what happened. He made me play house. Then he dug a hole. Please. I just want to go home now. Please. Can you tell me your address, honey? I don't <laughs> know. Just take me to the store or the police. Child place. acting. Please. Mommy said to go to the policeman if I got lost. And I'm lost. Well, I don't trust police in this town. That was ominous. I don't trust police in this town. Well, I don't trust Dwayne. I mean, I trust Deputy Lunas with everything. I mean, th that dude is just a stand-up guy. But Dwayne... Sound effects. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I'll just take her back to her mom and collect the money. Dodge. I, wo I wonder what happens if you, like, don't fight Karen on the next day. Is like... Is she just like a corpse or what? I, I actually don't know. I there's a lot of shit with these point clicks, you know, that you just don't know. That was not the way to go. That was a TV station, and they're all just still lined up out there. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my God, Karen! Thank God. What happened? I found her a dirt nap. Found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive. And she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. Damn Thank that Potsdam. Thank you for both of us. 
Here. Here's the reward money. Take it and go. I need to be alone with my baby right now. Can I have the flowers? I mean, can I, have the, I mean, you don't need them anymore. Can I have the flowers? Bye-bye. I can't talk now. The dishes are stacked up and back, and I better take advantage of the lull. You just got your daughter back, and now you're just, like, doing the dishes? You've met Karen, my eight-year-old. Yes, I've met her. I've dug her out from the fucking ground. Whatever, buy, buy DNA, buy, buy Dina. All right, let's go visit a, a certain, a certain someone. You know him, you love him. Actually, you know, there's something I should tell you. If you go back on every single day, like you can like talk to everyone in town, they say different things about what happened. Oh, I can just go into his garage, cool. Well, you can always just buff out the scratch. I mean, you know, the scratch isn't that bad, dude. I mean, you can just take it to a mechanic shop, you're fine. But yeah, if you like go back, like all the people say different things about different happening. I'm not gonna do that for you. I'm just telling you what you could do. It. So I keep trying to fire an arrow at me. Some rotten son bitch scratch my car. Wow! Well, no, no, that's a bummer. My sweet cheeks. <laughs> if I find out who did it, I'll kill him. Just kill him dead. I told that fool sheriff to beef up the patrols, but what does he care? About? No one cares about a limp dick fat boy. Well, I'll make them care. Oh Wait, are you the lip dick fat boy, or is, are you talking about Dwight? <laughs> of course, you queered my play with Ed. Yeah, I queered it, Raul. Right. I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life. Well, the little right? girl's life is actually alive. I mean, I don't know if you were talking about yourself in the third person, like a lip dick fat boy, but are you Dwight? I don't. Bye now. Bye now. What was I even fucking doing? Right, 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 right. Now, the fire station's a little tricky, right? Because the firemen are going to be here, see? Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. Rush, rush, give me yayo. Firemen's bed with a place where right is whatever. Now, watch this. Wait, I need, I need meat, don't I? Wait. No, the, the meat's tomorrow. What? Or do I need to get the meat now? And I'm gonna I'm gonna save just in case because I'm not sure myself. I kind of forget if I need to get like 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 something for the dog like meat wise. I hope I don't have to go get the fucking meat. Give me the axe. Probably let's fire back his garage fire axe. Huh. I'm surprised it's not like purple or something. Get the ladder. Pick it some fence clips and we'll quickly replace the coat of paint. No, Jilly, we're. Where do I get the meat from again? Hey, hey, W. Loomis, don't mind me. Uh, that's toast. That's a shaving kit. That's a fire hydrant. Oh, fuck. Where's the meat? Do I have to go to Pat O'Reilly's? I need meat. Can't talk now, Steve. I've got to hose out some entrails. Come to think of it, I don't see- No. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. Damn it. I just skipped Only the cutscene. I just skipped the fucking cutscene. I'm sorry, I thought it was something you said before. I'll, 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 I'll redo it, don't worry. Once you take over- Yes, I know, the entrails. Thank you. You'll realize the important- If we didn't, would the- Oh god, not the lodge again. Let's yeah, but okay, meat. Just fucking meat. Tell me about the meat. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. 
only the juiciest cut. Once you take over the business, these FMV cuts, these kind of like fuck up, kind of fucked up. While cutting costs, we know what we're doing here, Steve. Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Um, your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you. Yeah, the give me your meat. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe me? Did I say this well, before? You always were such a kidder, Steve. Funny how that's beginning to. Start. Yeah. Okay. Stock answer. Right. Don't be such a. Yeah. Don't be such a stranger. Do I have the meat permission slip? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Before we do that, we gotta go to the general store, pick up some shit. Oh look, the guy's gone. Hello. Well, I don't. I don't. Just How much money is this? Uh, it looks like a hundred dollars. I guess that's like a thousand. Like, uh, like this time. That's covered. These nineteen fifty prices are cheap. Take what you need. Okay, sounds good to me. Take that. Take that. And uh, is that it? Yeah. Thanks, Miss Phelps. Hello, Steve. Care to buy anything today? No, just browsing. Okay, dear. You check back if you decide there's anything you want. I'll be happy to help you. Come back soon. Oh! I just skipped it. I'm sorry. God damn it. I I, I thought it was like she was gonna give me like a like a repeat. But Hello. Care to Come back. Okay, whatever. You see what I mean though? Everyone says something different when you do something like like scratches Tucker or whatever. And I forgot what I was fucking doing because of that. Oh, right, right, I was getting the meat permission slip. Yes, yes. Well that didn't work. Oh man. Do I need the red one? Good. Oh, well, this is a lovely room. No, dude. Steve, don't. Ugh. Erotic, kinky love equipment. No, leave that there. If any of it turns out missing. <laughs> Marv, what's going on in there? Wow, there are two television households. That's amazing. For the 1950s, I mean. Go. His photograph is constant torture for poor old dad. Is that like actually her tits 3D modeled or is that like, or is that like fucking, um, you, you know, it's like, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like a, like a fake version of her. If you're the boozy, rosy palmies, rosy cheeks. No, no, no don't skip the cutscene. God damn it. Man, there's a lot of blood around here. Steve, is that you? Come to see your poor old dad? Are you my I could barely see you with those really? bandages on. I don't remember you. Please. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I'm serious. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Just don't make me laugh now. Remember, I should probably just cover this up. Just in God. case. What has she done to you? <laughs> she doesn't know you're here, does she? I mean, she probably does. does she? No, I had to break in. What the hell is going it on? It took a lot of work to get in here. I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have a special father-son talk. 
Especially now that you're getting... Are you sure you're in any condition to do this? I'd like that. <laughs> but listen, the birds and the bees and the BDSM. I can't talk very loud. The birds and the BDSM. It's the tracheotomy. <laughs> when a man and a woman love each other very much, they go into a room alone and shut the door and bolt it with at least three locks. How romantic. And prop a chair under the doorknob so no one can get in or out. <laughs> then they take off their clothes and get out a wide variety of scalpels. Some curved, some short, all of them sharp. And then the man Wait, where, where the, the woman. Where's the scalpels? And then the... With the barbed wire, they... Oh, you poor man. It's all right. Don't get worked up. You need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason. For risking it. I need some meat. And Pat won't give me any without your signed permission. Good old dependable Pat. Pat's a dickhead, dude. Here, son. Thanks, Dad. Here's my signature. Take it to him, and you won't have any problem. I probably will, knowing Pat. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. I'm surprised his eyes are even in working condition. Hey, uh, Mr. Potsdam told me to tell you hi, and he's wanting to know about the meat. This is no time to talk gibberish. Get out of here. Now, how about this? This is no time. Oh, to sorry. Jibber. This is no. This is no time to talk. Can I not ask him anything? This is no time. This, this is, is no time, time to talk gibberish. gibberish. Get out of here now. Okay, thank you. Bye. Have fun with all of this. The the cow and the. And the medieval, you know, rack and the and the blow up dolls, you know, all that. Where's the meat? Here's your stupid permission slip. You know, like I'm on a fucking field trip now. Give me the meat. Okay, Marv. Steve. Wow, he has surprisingly good handwriting for someone who can't move his fingers that good. Well, we get great free meat. I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe it's both. So, your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? He's recovering nicely. That psychotic bitch has him sliced to ribbons! Good, good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Here's your meat, son. You run along now. Okay, thank you. Very much. A new shipment of animals has come in, and it's time to start cutting. What, new shipment of cats? Whatever. I don't... Okay. I think you need more meat in the future, but I'm not sure. Can I skip this? I think we've already seen it, right? With the tractor? I mean, it's atmospheric, but... I'm gonna save because you know you never know with this fucking game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rename it too because that's a little long. That'll work. You know me, Marge. I like my beer cold, my coffee hot, and my homosexuals flaming. Give me the meat. Good dog. Okay, he's not going to be a bother. Jeez, what are you doing here? <laughs> just standing here. He, he could say the same job? thing about you, Steve. You just hang out here. All the time. That's his job. I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter. 
because you'll be dead. Thanks for the yeah. advice. Have you gotten your large application in? Yes, I have. Yes! No. Good. You may survive, yes. Well, thank you very I much. you're here to steal the boat. How, how could you possibly guess that? Yeah, you're gonna rat on me? Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object dot, and since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Hey, thanks. That'd be very helpful. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light in boat is light jet. Ah, oh, it's in the light. Thank you. Still here, eh? Where else would I go, Steve? Have you gotten your lodge up? I don't know. Do you ever yet? go to bed? Yes. Do you ever sleep? Good. You may survive yet. Okay, get the ladder out. Damn it. Okay. All right. Hey, that's a really weird place to put a bowl of cloth. Still. I would love to fuck you, but my gun's firing blanks. <laughs> that, that was a good joke. Okay, what? I guess I just leave. Do I just do? I, can I just fuck off now? I've acquired cloth. If you make a way to the house after an exhausting day. Great. We've already seen this cutscene, right? With the with the fucking I think we have. Yeah, we have. Let's just skip it. We've seen this fucking cutscene already. Okay. Hey, Hank, how's your television? Still fucked up, I see. Yeah, I see. Get you. Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for ding that buried kids. Yeah, it's I too bad. To see what that badge would look like. Me too. I would love to put that on asked my patch. I what it was like being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me and twitched and drew her. <laughs> Guess I got my answer. Huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you did. Finally. Hank, you gotta stop being a dick. I mean, I'm the only one who actually ever talks to you. Hello, dear. How are you today? Absolutely terrible. You know those firemen? The funny ones with the color sense? Looks like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. Do I get a cookie? You don't seem proud. Well, do I actually get I a cookie? Why. I warned you not to waste time looking for her. It Am took like five minutes. Time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for what happened to her. What a silly little girl. I don't think she's that silly. I can't believe Mr. Potsdam would do something like that. That fucking gross old obese man living on the couch fucking jerking his meat off to fucking like ocean wave sounds. I cannot believe he would do something like that. Shame on you. Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would No, a range rider would just fucking blow his brains out with a carbine. Why would she lie? Okay, Weisenheimer. <laughs> Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, and an attempted murderer. That's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. I just can't wait for the wedding. Can you? I don't think you should be talking about to Steve about what a child bluster is. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he Jimmy gets. is fucking dead. I put him in the ground like two days ago. I have his gun on me. I don't even know where the fuck he got it from. Y you know what? Pull one out for Jimmy. No, I can't grab another paper. Whatever. What am I doing now? Can I go to the fire station? Will anything happen if I do? Wait, is today Friday or Thursday? I don't know. I wonder if the PTA bake sales today. I should probably check that out. Is today not Friday? I guess not. 
Seeing you here again, one would think you'd never graduated. Nostalgia is a waste of time. Mr. Johnson says one of my pupils scratched his priceless tucker. I must say, I was relieved when I learned he had no evidence pointing to one of my kids. If he had, quality time. some lucky boy or girl would have been in for some quality time. Oh, Say, God, you give me the creeps. Don't find in Karen Fitzpatrick. Don't know Did how she go to school it, here? But if I were still publishing the Sentinel, you can bet I'd run a full profile on you. Well, that's very nice of you, Mr. Harrell. I'll see you later. Drop in again soon. Yeah, quality time. Got it. Thank you. Man, that fucking guy. Not even the creepiest person in this fucking town. Wait, where's the exit? Where's the, where's the... Hello? The, I, okay. Okay, there it is. That was a it was a really weird spot. I don't I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Let's go to the lodge. Yeah, I got your stupid bowl of fabric right here, I think. Do I? Whatever I must have grabbed it here. Exquisite clock. What are you gonna make a robe out of it? Should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's ball. What a lame, like, prank. Think of opening a salon, Sarge. Lack of respect for authority. A fine trait for a member of the order. Yes, I approve, Stephen. I hope you succeed in your task. Break into the shop. Easiest pie. Oh, I've already grabbed everything. Okay, we'll do this quick then. I want to get past all the days before we actually go to the fucking lodge. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I mean, the, the nightfall is getting darker. I mean, completely flooded the town in darkness. So, like, all the people at the fire station now, like, bickering and gone? I guess so. What? What? Oh, okay. Okay, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. I didn't know. I didn't know they killed him. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Whoa. Did I? Did I? Oh, he's dead. Oh, he, oh, he's just straight up dead. They fucking murdered him. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't know. I did not know that. I did. Uh, that was that's new to me. I. I no. I. Uh, I. I guess they found out. He told me the hint about the cloth. Oh God. Can, can I call the police on this or? Where the fuck closed the police station? Oh, it looks like I finally got done writing that bug report. I mean, that actually fucked with me. I did not know that that guy, that random guy, died. I. I didn't know. I never actually bothered to like check the fire station afterwards. I didn't know he would like get fucking creamed. Where, where am I going again? The the fucking the barber pole shop, right? Now this is a professional breakup job, so watch this. See, if you want to like break a window, but not like like leave a bunch of evidence, like want to like get the window all smashed, that's how you do it. All right, and then you take this, and you go smash. Easy as pie, and then you won't get cut with a broken glass, really. And you can just you know open the door. You know, tips tips for breaking in to beginners. The red eyes are kind of creepy. Fancy barbers will screw the wall with straight slot screws. Where's the... So, does turning it off, like, like keep the thing working, or...? Uh, he said something about screwing the like the alarm to the alarm system, but yeah. Steve should just like put the wires back in. Like, what the fuck was his problem? 
Why, why would you just leave exposed wires like thrown out on the floor? I mean, that was his fault. That wasn't even the order like killing Mr. Passarelli. Spoilers, but you skip it, we've seen it. Oh, okay. Control F4 and click left mouse button. Okay. Yeah, this is like the second disc. You see, this game used to come on disc because it was so big. I'm going to try and like do this without like I've seen the recording. I'm, okay, let's just see if it'll work. Control F4, mouth mouse button. Okay. Let me check my recording. Should be good. Should be good. Okay. I don't know what to call this now. I guess we're going to call it Big Sale because I think that's where we're at in the, in the game. Leave me alone, will ya? This is the good part. So what's the death counter at? Good. Let's see, we got Jimmy James is dead. We got, uh, they got the gay art guy, the object guy, he's dead. Hello, dear. How Did you hear what happened at the barbershop? Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and- Oh no, who would do such a pole? thing? Not the barber the pole. Morning, Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around and was electrocuted. Well, that darn foreigner got <laughs> what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. Wow. Friends, if a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. I thought it was yop, not wop. First you get a sissy trim, then bang, you're a communist. Isn't it exciting, Steve? Five days and twelve hundred cookies later, the baked twelve thousand. Wow. Here. Where does the time fly? Those one thousand two hundred cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about twenty. <laughs> the rest for sale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Will you be at the school tonight? Wouldn't miss it. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. I don't think a big sale counts as a new experience. Don't you think it's odd? Having a bake sale to pay for burying out of towners? Gosh, a hooties. What should we do? Leave them in the street? Gosh, a hooties. Of course we should bury them. But why do so many out of towners drop dead in harvest? I have wondered about that. And I think it has something to do with the air. The air? But there's nothing wrong with the air. It's perfectly clean. That's I want to know mean. about that. I mean, you're right the next to a military base. To and the lodge is like spewing smoke. Systems. Gets them every time. Whatever. Bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy is dead, lady. He's dead. And he's not coming back. God, I hope he doesn't come back. He'd be pretty fucking pissy if he got out of the hospital. Okay, so where's all the fucking things I gotta do? Oh, let's see, there's the fire station, newspaper building, the, 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 the. Well let's go to the let's go to the barber place first. That is not the bar place, it was the wrong way. God damn it. Oh, poor Passarelli. Oh, God, even the sheep. I don't think it's alive anymore, bud. This is all your fault, Steve. You, you could just put the wires back in the hole. Thanks about taking some of that siding off my hands, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. I was the one what found Pastorelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out, his body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done too. Poor Pastorelli. He got turned to a burnt is, bacon. The was burnt so bad, and the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melted. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. <laughs> no, sir. I did. I don't blame you. Who knows where he's been? The only thing worse than the fire station full of sissies is the fire station full of pigs, sissy. They're all accusing each S other. Mr. Swell, I just went into the fire station last night and there was a dead body under, oh, under a tarp. You said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest because we got a fire station 
full of flamers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, Mr. Swell. Nice to see you again, Steve. Nice to see you too. What you got to say? I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. I'm thinking if the whole town ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson. Defecating a work of art like Defecating. that. Defecating. Well, that's a sheer sign that civilization is coming to an end. Why well, the TV got burnt? I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electric. Yeah, Mr. Swall just told me. He stole the barber's pole. The alarm system yeah, that one thing you said that, that no one would steal. On the floor this morning, and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! Maybe them aliens is hot for colored glass after all. I mean, it was pretty. Anytime, Steve. I feel so bad. Pastorelli did fucking nothing wrong at all compared to everyone else in this fucking town. Where's the big sale? Okay, I guess it's not happening yet. Well, I have to do something with the Astro Glue, right? Or do... Wait a second, I have to... I think I have to go down here and, like, there's a body in here, right? Why well, is the young man likes the most little boots? Oh, wait, here. I don't know who the hell this guy is, but he's got, he got fucking laid out. Click. Let's go get that fucking astroglue, finally. Look at what I got! Look at what I got! Ah, you've taken up photography, I see. Yes, I have. Now, why on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe. You're the one who knows the fucking funeral parlor. He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. Hmm. You may be right. I'm a mortician, not a medical examiner. What's the difference? You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is not something you want to be looking into. Didn't give me your clue. Man. No shot. Just want to find out who the hell I am and get out of here. That's what we all want. <laughs> what game are you people playing? A game we win or lose together. Exactly. Look, are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do I go to the sheriff with these pictures? That would be a grave mistake, I assure you. I've told you all I can. My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. The only thing I can give you in exchange for the photographs is my tube of acid. That's a really blue. weird trade, dude. I do suggest you take it, or it's all you'll get from me. Glue, huh? All right, it's trade. Not good enough. Good. No, just take the fucking glue. A wise decision. When a wasp's nest is stirred up, it is seldom the wasps who grieve later. Oh, hey, speaking of wasps. Young man, we really... It seems that... Like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station, like that corpse in the chapel, all dressed up. Okay. Nowhere to go. Give an exposition. No now point that I still must provide them with prompt. Why are you hosting a funeral for someone who doesn't have a family or anything? the losses myself. God knows, by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials? As I do hope you'll attend. Yeah, he's already said all this shit. Spend heavily. It's for the needy. I spent all my money on sure. a wrench and a Not pair of to do tape. To his dot. A ditch makes a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. If you ever want to leave Harvest. You make it sound like I have a choice. A choice that is rapidly vanishing. Join the lodge, Stephen. While you may. God, it's cool. It's cool. The corpse reclining in the chapel right now is a prime example of the difficulties. He has a really face. good voice. For unfathomable reasons, this bum decided to wander into harvest and summarily dropped dead. Just like that. Just like Indeed. that. Indeed. He died of purely natural causes. Of that, I have no doubt. But why come to harvest to die? You say this happens often. Isn't that a 
a little too much of a coincidence? I've often puzzled over this situation myself. Though I can assure you, young man, that nothing untoward is happening in Hogwarts. Ah, uh, sure. On the contrary, it's an indication of our compassion that I put up hobos in the Wayward Hotel. And the Order of the Harvest Moon mandates their prompt burial, even when they are without family or means, and when it entails losses on my part. That kind of seems unfair for you. I mean, like, I know you're kind of like a psychopathic asshole killer, but I mean, like, I mean, you're, you know, you know, you have to fucking, like, pay for all the funeral bullshit on the... I'd say... Yeah, yeah, I get it. You have to pay for the coffins and the funeral and the plot. It's a, it's a big hassle. I get it. I understand. Do I still have the picture? No. I still have the ledgers, though. There, there's some shit I want to do before we, like, we, like, we leave. Because we're almost at that point. So let's start with the lost lady, shall we? It's not often that I get visited. I visited you, like, a couple days ago. Yeah, let's let's start with this. I look like, I look like fucking Jack Torts. Here's Johnny. <gasps> oh oh god, smash him with a book. Don't worry, your life didn't matter. In fact, that probably did a service to the community. Well, that's another one on the chopping block. Jimmy James, her, Mr. McKnight, the guy at the, at the fire station, Mr. Passarelli, the death toll just keeps on climbing. Now, where are we going? I guess we're going to the fucking lodge. Italian dream sounds like an ice cream flavor. You have done well. An unfortunate side effect that passed away. Yeah, it was literally all my fault. Because you left yeah, it really was Steve's fault. You cannot blame the order for anything. They didn't even want to die. That's really took a big, a permanent one. A man was electrocuted. No, it wasn't even him, it was all Steve's fault. Fortunate accident. What does it matter that you left live electrical wires hanging in the water on the floor? If he hadn't cross-wired the alarm system to the sprinklers, he'd be alive. No, if Steve did put the wires in the water. You only wanted the bowl. But that hardly matters now. Jesus, so why are you this arson? Forget, all right? Any suggestions? So close, and yet so far. What a pity. Strange to find a murder so squeaky. Hey, Jimmy James had it coming. You don't know the full story. But to each his own, I suppose. I'll... Tonight, the bake sale commences. I'll do the fire. Soon. That, sure. that threatening pun didn't even work. And here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor really took a big spell, permanent one. Yes, a barber. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good joke. High five. You only your Yeah, yeah, burn the fucking thing yes. down. I suggest you succeed. Good, good, Beyond thank you. Thanks for the advice. Well, then I'm already out of the running. So must you be to become one with them. Whatever. Wait, it's already nightfall? Yeah, tractor. Got it. Thank you. Let's go to the bake sale first. This school building's a little smaller than I thought it'd be.
Lots of fun. I can't read that. I can't read that either. Chidaisy rules. No blood on the floor. Do on others as you would do on your mother. No laughing. No sports allowed. Very helpful. Thanks. Yeah, what the fuck's the point of a gymnasium if you can't play sports in it? What a good boy you are. Have a cookie. Yay! I finally get my cookie. Y'all look alike. Mercy, what a terrible thing to say. Isn't it, ladies? Yes. Terrible. Ah, the Stepford Wives. Hello, Steve. So nice to see you. Who the you. hell are you? Derelicts and bums who wander into town. You don't have enough money for a decent burial. They deserve to be buried. It's the Christian thing to do. That's awful nice of you. But why do so many derelicts and bums die in Harvest? Don't be such a wise apple, <laughs> Steve. Okay, don't be a wise apple, I guess. What a good boy you are. To hell for cookies. Why, I never. Isn't that right, ladies? Yes. Never. Is it is that like the same like like girl like doing all the fucking like 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 costumes and clothing? Because that's really cool if, if that was it. Wait, what? The mercy exit doors are locked for the outside. Okay. What? D don't tell me I skipped it. No, I skipped it. God damn it. Oh, how far was I? How far was I back? Please don't tell me I was that far back. Come on. Oh, I was that far back. God damn, I'll be right back. Okay, before we do anything, before we go back to the bank sale, I just want to do something real quick. It's just, it's just the llamas, guy. Yep, the llamas. They fear me. That's good. I remember you. You're the soldier. Yeah, the I firemen all fucking the like they killed the guy. Did you find evidence of commie infiltration? Yeah, they're all commies. Got them down. There's pig as a Moscow sunset, Colonel. That's what I thought. The kookaburras told me, but I wouldn't listen. They lie so much. But now my crust is golden brown. Can't you hear the timer ding? <laughs> oh no, no, don't do this, dude. I, I, I was the one who helped you. Why are you shooting me? I told you about the commies. So... God damn it, just skip it. Ugh. Why'd he shoot me? I had nothing to do with that. They really were commies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barber pole. I got it. Might as well tell them that there weren't commies, I guess. The llamas, they fear me. Thank God for that. Your next assignment is to infiltrate the lodge before it's too late. Get it at all costs, mister. Or God help us all. Okay. Fuck off crippled boy. I don't follow. Okay, he doesn't get it. Whatever. Remember, duck and cover. Hey, does this help you in your war against the communists or whatever? Son, don't waste my time. Okay, I'm gonna leave because you're, you're a little mental unstable. I'm gonna go. Now let's go talk to fucking Deputy, Stephanie, whatever the fuck her name is. I don't know. I don't care. Because, you know, there's uh, like a cutscene I want you to see. I could kill you right now. I could kill you right now. Did you say hello to your father for No, me? it wouldn't give me the dialogue option, but yeah, sure I did. Thank God for that, at least. I could use some good news right now. I just got the word. The order turned down my latest application. Looks like we'll be having the wedding at Moynihan's after all. That's too bad. <laughs> Karen accused you of being- I don't believe it. Uh, he's a totally nice guy. You molested to Karen and buried alive. Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Potsdam. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Mmm, pot roast. Forget the pot roast, mother. <laughs> pot roast isn't for backstabbers. Why do you call her mother? Persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Mr. Potsdam. It's the truth. 
That's why. And I think you'd better be going, young man, before I call your mother and What's with the fucking you? static? <laughs> Someone well, you just chase the subject. Yeah, it was me. Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratch tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? I would steal a barber's oh, well. pole. Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. Those silly woolies down at the silly fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. Okay. Whatever you say, bud. If it isn't my... Stop mum. Okay, he's not gonna reply. Wait, wait, the hole, the hole. Wait. If it isn't my... Beg pardon? You heard me. a peephole in the upstairs bathroom. It looks in on Stephanie's room. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> Obviously, Mrs. Potsdam is a lesbian. <laughs> looks like the previous looks like the house's previous owner was a pervert. You've been spying on your daughter, haven't you? You know what? All of these are pretty good, and I'm not really gonna chastise them for because I also look in the peephole, so obviously Mrs. Potsdam is a lesbian. Mrs. Potsdam's never been to Lebanon in her life. <laughs> Someone's peeping in on Stephanie. If it's not Mrs. Potsdam, then who is it? Seems that Mrs. Potsdam has a little problem. I'll handle it myself. Thanks for calling this to my attention. No problem. That's what I'm here for. If I tell Stephanie about it. Now, there's no need to scare Stephanie with this business. I guess not. So long as you patch that hole. Well, I guess I could hang that picture somewhere else. That doesn't fix the Stephanie hole. I had no idea where it was. Like, can I, can I, like, say it again? Beg. Okay, let's see what else. Looks like the pre house previous owner was a pervert. Yes, that's it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Then you won't mind if I tell Steph. Now. I guess not. Well. I thought. Let's see what what other, what other dialogue can we get. You've got. Well. How dare you? I'm no peeping Tom. I had no idea that was there. Uh huh. Then you won't mind if I. Now. I guess. Well. I thought. Hi, Stephanie. Steve, I'm so glad you came back. What have you been I killed doing? the paper boy. I killed I the, the lodge. Talked to the sergeant. I killed the Italian day. guy. I made the fireman go crazy. I scratched the old man's car. He told me if I wanted to find out what it is, I should join the lodge. I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all our questions is inside. You know how I've been having a pretty busy day. How about you? It's so sinister. Not really. It's not that bad. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of Well, I don't have any other cards. Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? Yeah. That's one of the things I hope to find out. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. I do. I understand that bake sale is today. Oh, yeah, I should probably yeah. be going to that. I think it was the second coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie. Well, they place. literally do. They're all Steffords. It's unnatural. Unhealthy. Almost a parody of how things should be. And through my window at night, I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies. Like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. You should eat those cookies. Mother has been baking no point wasting cookies them. All week, and then throwing them out. Better that than getting rid of us. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. Yeah, they're going to shove in the trash can with the cookies. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. More like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told me that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. That's another weird thing. Every car I've seen drive by is a Tucker. There were only 31 cars. I've seen more than just one truck, ch Tucker. I always wanted a Tucker. Funny that Harvest would be full of them. 
Any idea who scratched the car? Oh, it was me. I did it. I, I totally did. It was fucking hilarious. Why would you do something like that? Because the funny guy in the hood told me. Lodge initiation. I see. Look, I don't know what's going on It was a hilarious here, prank. Into the lodge you should have seen the look on his face. Out. By committing vandalism? That wasn't vandalism. That was, yeah, it's just a harmless stuff by any means necessary, Stephanie. Any means necessary. Well, I guess you'll fit right in, won't you? Scratching a car is no big deal. Getting out of this mess is. Sorry. When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. You know the fire. can buff it out. Someone stole some fabric from them, and they're up in arms. Uh. Why would someone steal a bolt of fabric? Why would firemen spend their time decorating? <laughs> Only in hey, everyone needs their hobbies. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber, he's dead. Yeah, I, I really feel bad about, about that, but I made mean, nothing I could do for him now. The exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the lights, and. Know anything about that? You know, I'm normally an honest guy, but here's the thing about that. I don't want her to think I'm a fucking murderer. I mean, I, could you imagine if I told her what I did to Jimmy James? I mean, that, that wouldn't go over well. Mr. Swell came by. I tried to I get her a pool skirt. About it. He said it smelled like roast pork. How's so that? These things happen. It was a sheep, not a pig. Especially around here. Is it true? You found Karen? You're goddamn right yeah. I did. Just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Well, it was a slow fucking death. She was in there for like 24 hours and she didn't suffocate. Helpless child. Your father. He says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... With that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So... At least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Um, I didn't tell the cops. Um. Oh, might as well tell her. Stephanie, I think you should know. There's a peephole hidden behind the picture in the bathroom. You mean a peephole? They're spying on me? Something like I'm that. Afraid so. Say, that's the scraping I hear every night. The picture sliding along the wall. Disgusting. I've got to get out of here, Steve. The thought of that fat slob watching me. Hey, that's some people's I fetish. I confronted Potsdam about it. He tried to play dumb, but I got him to say he'd fix it. Thank you, Steve. I don't know what I'd do. You'd without probably you. die. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Do you not get the sex cutscene now? You. I feel so alone. Maybe that's maybe there. that's tomorrow. Whatever. You're not making sense. Okay, whatever. Come back and visit me soon, okay? What a waste of fucking time that was. C can I just kill him now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, I could. <laughs> FMV, come on. There you go. Oh, I like the like the 3D model of the car. The fit the fit these you know, police police car. That's really cool. I think I got another get a jail free card, huh? What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that. With so many what witnesses. witnesses? There was no witnesses. You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. <laughs> I had to show you this cutscene. Somebody help me! <laughs> what do you people want from me? What do you people want too from me? For that boy. Too late for that Sorry. boy. Oh, he's here too, huh? Wait, is that Mr. Mortahan? Is that the same like guy? Oh, it sucks to be you, Steve. <laughs> oh no, he drank too much Kool-Aid. And now Karen from SpongeBob's crying. Okay, that was that was, 
That was good. Okay, now we can do the fucking thing with the fucking bullshit, the big fucking big sale. I could kill you. Wait, I wonder what happens if you do kill him. Like, does that, does that like fuck up the story? Cause I got a, get a jail free card. Like, how how does killing people in this town like like affect the story majorly? Like, if I like whack him with the fucking axe, will I, will I, will I get out of it? I don't know. I don't want I don't want I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Anyway, I'll be right back once I get back to the bank sale. Okay. Okay, back. Let's do this. Just leave. Don't don't click anything. Ladies. Someone has just burned down the TV station. <laughs> that that was definitely dubbed in. Oh, no, no, None no, of no, our no, bank no. sale. Wait, does that mean the bank sale's over then? No, it's it's still going on. They don't they don't care. They don't give a shit. Oh. Oh, there's boil. Oh man, that means no more te television. What whatever will we do? Oh, silver tucker with a yellow interior, huh? Well, good thing that you know I killed McKnight, so he didn't burn alive. Either way, he's gonna die. I wonder where the firemen are. Well, I, maybe I don't want to know because they probably all fucking murder each other. What was I doing? DNA diner. Right, right, right. Well, that won't stop me because I have the magical power of tape and a fucking, you know. Watch me use my magic. Where's the astro glue? Oh, here it is. Glue to the cake cover, put it up there. Ta da! Yeah, we just turn on the fruit. Turn on. Oh, do I have a white? Light? Yeah. See you later, shitlords. Well, I don't know where people are gonna eat now. Fender's Diner plays your task complete. You carefully make your way home to avoid any possible witnesses. Okay, skip the cutscene. We've seen it like five times already. Save the game. There you D and Arson. Perfect. Hey, Hank, what you watching? What is it now? Hank? What? Why are you sitting in front of that blank TV? <laughs> Someone burnt down the TV channel. There's nothing on. Nothing on. Poor Hank. Honestly, Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told no, you. No, I understand TV where it's coming from. You. Watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. Based. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one it of was those Boyle. Indians. It was Postmaster Boyle. Can I, can I just fucking tell him it was Postmaster Boyle? Say what? Okay, he doesn't know who that is. Whatever. Bye, Hank. Good. Finally. Why don't you, like, listen to the radio or something? Hello, dear. How are you today? The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. Yeah, the nerve. I doubt the perpetrator <laughs> did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. I wouldn't be so sure, Witness? Steve. I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a communist. <gasps> Not a communist. Steve, I'm so scared. You should hug me. What's communism got to do with anything? What communism doesn't have to do with anything, Steve? Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so useless. My goodness. <laughs> What's wrong with Oh, yeah, you really don't get to see the baby at all. Oh, my fucking God. My goodness. 
Oh God, in Christ! Oh, push it back in! Oh God, a doctor! Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. No, it looks pretty bad. You just pop them back in. See? Welp, you fixed her, I think. Uh, as good as new. That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Oh, don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose. Well, good again. for you. <sighs> Glad to see you're feeling better. My, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W-H-A-R. Or war. I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn And I'm the, and I'm the fucking I quilter. I heard about DNA's diner Yeah, you down. just said it. Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. Did you hear? Someone exterminated the wasp woman. <laughs> <laughs> exterminated. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh my. I used to be such a... Now you're a real card. Everyone in the Glee Club thought so. Oh, I haven't lost it. Have I? Yeah, nobody we cares about the. On the bake sale, but I'm sure the Harvest nobody cares. I killed the lost woman. Drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about two hundred dollars. That's like two thousand, like real money. Horse, and definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. So wait, does everyone die because when the blood donation comes? Exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. What do you use then? Leeches? What? Hank. You're yeah, we've heard it. We've heard of this before. Don't forget to put the paper. Jimmy is dead. Jimmy's been dead for like four days. They've already buried him and everything. I don't think I can even take the paper out even if I want to. And I don't. Let's go let's go talk to her, because maybe we can get something cool. I thought that I thought that was a person for a second. Whoa. Steve. I'm sorry. Want to hear what's happening out in the real world? No. I'd rather forget about Harvest It's Bird. kind of hard to forget where you live. Stephanie? I feel so close to you, Steve. Like we're the only two people in Harvest. The only two real people. I mean, Deputy you know Lobo I mean? sounds pretty real. Yeah. I need to feel something again. <laughs> This sense I have that I've known you, it's my only link to my past. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's different than memory. Maybe we don't remember each other so much as we recall the feelings deep inside. Strong feelings. Maybe the body has its own memory. Let's find that out. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I want you. Make love to me. Sim sex music. No, it would be right. What what kind of lame ass response is that? Yeah, bow chicka wow wow. Get get on. Then take me now. She has like a pimple on her nose. Do you notice that or is that like the like the FMV fucking up? HD Harvester remaster. No, not remaster, just like a poor win. Because remaster usually means they're going to fuck it up somehow. I, li I like the painting on the walls of Jesus picture. That, that adds a lot to it. Woohoo! Like, I can't do a wolf whistle. This is literally what it's like watching your sims have sex. You're just, you're just watching above while they're doing it on the bed. You know, woohooing and then the whole thing goes boring. What, does she have a TV in her room? Or is that like a dresser? Damn, she has a nice pair. 
This is why baby Jesus cries himself to sleep at night. Well, that was fun. Let's go. Let's go. I don't fucking know. I kind of want to talk to people more. You know, like talk to the people and like see what they like say. And we'll do that a little bit, but I really want to get through this to the end, you know, because we're almost at the end. Then we have to go to the lodge and it. Oh yeah, my favorite character in this, he, he got fucked over. Say, can you spare a dime for a buck? Yeah, he became Freddy Krueger. on his luck. The whole shebang just went up in flames. And I'm looking to mosey on to greener pastures. Damn. Where the sunset's always golden, and there's always another savage to kill. You know, you know, you could probably be like a good extra and like follow New Vegas as like a ghoul. You know, if you're looking for more work. Say, the whole... Well... Yeah, there's clothes, all right. Well, sorry, Range. I'll see you in syndication, I guess. Um, is there anyone else I want to talk to, really? Not, re not really. I mean, I mean, you could do that on your own. I want to encourage you to play the game. I just showed you some of the, like, like the special bonus dialogue, really. DNA's diner is no more. As is Edna herself. Oh no. Oh fuck, I forgot to show you that cutscene, god damn it. A true entrepreneur and a credit to our nation. God damn. I had no idea you should kill you bastards, you made me a murder. That's the worst response ever. Like you've killed like five people already, including Jimmy James. That was like an optional kill. And the wasp lady, and the fucking Pastorelli, and the gay guy, and a ton of other people too. I didn't. I spoke for like 15 minutes. Still, you sought to torture Diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. If we don't get that special cutscene, I want to see. Candidate, I thought this was the initiation. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Well, this is the longest trial fucking ever. Great. Do I get like a t-shirt or something? Be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How will I recognize this sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here and your initiation shall begin. Okay. Whatever you say. Come on, please don't tell me I, I missed out on the cutscene, because that cutscene rocks. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. I don't think we missed it. Good, good, good. Wait, how did they know that she hung herself? I didn't even know yet. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go on alone any longer. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town. I thought you were doing great. Yeah, color and television and everything. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you won't be able to understand the depth of despair that would enable a mother to put a rope around her baby's neck and push her into the air. I, I didn't want to talk with that cutscene because.
fucking love this game because like it's like it, that cutscene was like so beautiful. It was like so well acted and like so like deep and like you know like like just beautifully written and fucking like like acted and like like you know what I mean, right? Like it was just like amazing to watch and it and then they throw in some funny shit like just him sitting there fucking eating the pie while this is going on. And I fucking love shit like that. It's like fucking beautiful. What was I doing in this diner? Okay, let's, um, there's some more shit I want to show off before, you know, before we, like, get to the end about the invitation. Here. Hello, Steve. Let yeah, me introduce we myself. haven't talked to Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne this entire Dwayne fucking time, Dwayne. time. And this here is Loomis. Yeah, I've already met Loomis. Then we haven't no, met we generally before? haven't met before. Of course we have. But I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. I sure hope this is just a prank. And not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean, or you'll wind up in jail, and that's no place. Well, at least the, like the mattresses will be you know, clean in there here that for the honeymoon. Being on Johnson's Tucker. That was me. <laughs> as honor as Johnson is about that old car, I suppose he had it coming. I imagine it was just some kids pulling a prank. I'm nowhere near solving the Tucker case. And now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on what around here? What the heck? Looks like we've got us a mini crime wave on our hands. All in a week. Just got a report about another act of vandalism. Maybe related to the Tucker incident and the fire station robbery. Someone Why is that like Karen Poster still up? And took his I post. found her days ago. Next morning. Pastorelli touched some live electrical wires that were left dangling, and zap, no more barber. What was just an act of vandalism has just become a case of manslaughter. I don't like it. Harvest used to be such a No, nice it did it. There's literally fire, like, file cases full of dead people in there. Someone went in his diner. Many evidence went up with the fire. And then she hung herself. Karen, too. Whoever's doing these things may not have intended to kill anyone. Just the same, if I catch them, it's the chair, for sure. You see what happened to my, to Harvest TV station? Yeah, I did. Oh, this time that little fire bug is gone too goddamn far, boy. <laughs> that wasn't no goddamn newspaper building. That was a, a telecommunications <laughs> complex. You right, got to write that right, about pay for this. Pay through the nose. Calm down, dirty oil. Did you hear that McNatt was killed? Yeah, Isn't I did it. Something? I literally did and it. You know what? Whoever did it didn't even think to look in his Yes, wall I safe. did. I even took his shit from the wall Just safe. goes to show you. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. <laughs> but I, that was me. Whatever, let's talk to him finally. Here is my deputy. Without him, I'd have a hard time keeping the peace. Or at least taking a lunch break. Mainly Loomis answers the phone and babysits the office while I'm out. Though sometimes he likes to go in the back and stain the jail mattress. Isn't that right, Loomis? Oh, now, Sheriff, what you gotta go and say that for? Loomis has more than his share of problems. I wouldn't invite <laughs> him to the wedding. Or if you do, make sure he doesn't catch the garter. That could be embarrassing. I can only imagine. Oh, I wouldn't do nothing, Dwayne. But I sure would like a little garter than been around Stephanie's thigh. Oh, well, that'd be right special. Uh, crime or wedding? Uh, let's do crime. Crime-wise, nothing much has happened in Harvest since the newspaper. There's time. been like ten murders oh, in like the sure. past week. Every week or so, we get the odd transient dropping dead. And there's been like five but fires. Other than that, it gets pretty slow around here. It hasn't been slow. What the fuck are you talking about? Sure. You remember? The Sentinel building burned down about six months ago. That's what I'm telling you, Sheriff. I don't remember anything. I can't believe that we're Why just now talking to him. I have amnesia. Well, you've always been a kidder. I used to tell them like day anyway, one. The fireman said the fire was caused by arson. I never caught the person. It was boil. But we found the gas can that was used. No, it's yes gone. Yes, sorry, Bob. No, yes, it's sorry, in no. It's in the. No, sorry, Bob. It's Lewis, in the. That's classified. I gave it back to him. Darn it. How many times are you gonna have to tell me to keep my mouth shut? I wonder. 
Sorry, boss. You've got the gas can <laughs> in the evidence room? Did you dust it for prints? <laughs> uh, you've been watching too much TV, Steve. Heck. Who can make out all those curvy lines? <laughs> no, I fucking love this guy. In there gathering dust. Clean as the day we found it. Just in case I ever need a spare gas can. That case is closed, Steve. That's what cops are actually like, pretty much. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia bunk? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you've always been a kidder, Steve. <laughs> yeah, so everybody keeps telling me. Yeah, it's kind of a recurring Boy, gag. You need to stop all this funning and get serious. You've got a wedding coming up soon. Heck, you should be thinking about your career and about joining the law. I thought you wanted me to become a cop. Amnesia or no, you can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at Harvest. I think you and Stephanie are perfect for each other. I just hope her father's disappointment doesn't spoil everything. Disappointment? Mr. Potsdam wants to hold the wedding in the lodge, but he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month. Waiting for Boyle to bring out that month's lodge applications. Uh-huh. There's always a long line. Never enough applications to go around. And even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. Fewer call to the order and even less accepted. And Potsdam, well, they've turned him down so many times. Unless he does something radical, he'll never get Trust it. me, he did something fucking radical. Radical, dude! I don't mind telling you. I'd never get anything done if not for the Lodge's efforts. To join the Order of the Harvest Moon is the highest... So you're a Lodge member or no? Uh, I'm not sure it's a stupid Lodge. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> when I was a boy, I wanted to join the Lodge. I would have, too, when I grew up. Except neither my teacher nor my clergyman helped me. You're clergyman. A man can't realize his dreams without help. My failure to gain admission is the failure of all of Harvest, Steve. And don't you forget... A man that. can't realize his dreams Boy, without help is very, very true. Whether you know it or not, you want to join the Lodge. Or you will soon enough. Especially with the wedding coming up. Say what? Okay, can I not say anything else to him? Stop on by any time, Steve. I thought there was, like, more dialogue with, like, Boy, Andy Griffith. The way you keep pestering me, you'd think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? Um. Say what? Okay. Stop on by. I thought, I thought there was, like, a thing where it's, like, never mind. I, th I think I missed that dialogue or whatever. I don't know. I, 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 I never usually like talk to him this late. I mean, the names in these two books match exactly. Where did you get them? One comes from Moynihan's hotel. Watch this. The other from Moynihan's morgue. So what? Do I have to spell it out? Moynihan is a murderer. Poppycock. Poppycock. Hobos and bums just wander into harvest. Sometimes they drop dead. It makes sense that such people would eventually occupy both the hotel and the morgue. Yeah, but all of them? Nope. Some blow right through and don't stay it either. Now I'm taking these ledgers and returning them to Mr. Moynihan. <laughs> As for you, you're under no arrest. No good for deed theft, goes Steve. unpunished. Theft? I just brought you evidence of murder. Evidence or no, you took these from their rightful owner. That don't get you a citation, son. That gets you a night in the clink. What? Oh, W. Wait, you actually just get straight up arrested? The next time they will use this, we're going to call this a bed. I didn't actually know this. W. Lewis' favorite hotspot. Iron stains tricked the inside of the jail sink. Told us to connect the cop piper is loose. Gail, Jake Gale is locked. Wait. This is your second arrest. You just remember. One more strike and you're out. What? 
Why, why did they put me back in jail again? What? I, I, I don't know. I escaped jail and then it was like, second strike and you're around. And they put me back in jail again. And why is there a uniform blue? What, what the fuck? I don't know. I'm just going to load back because I think that's going to fuck me somehow. I don't know how. But this game's a little fucky in some place, so I'm not going to take any chances. But it's cool we got to see the prison. I didn't actually know you could actually go into the back room like that. You know, I... Whatever. <laughs> Look how fucked up his tongue looks. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Ro. No, no, my poor Stephanie. I gotta rescue her. Don't worry, Stephanie. I'm coming. I got your tampons right here. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, Miss Potsdam. How's it going? You can't go into Stephanie's room till the sheriff gets here. Where's Mr. Potsdam? Does he know what happened? He's upstairs, outside Stephanie's room, waiting for the sheriff. Why not go up and chat with him? I'm fixing something for Dwayne. And there's dental floss in the medicine cabinet. What? What are you trying to say? I have, like, bad teeth? What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Whatever. I look like a fucking psycho with this axe. I guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the fuck are you talking what about? What are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. What are you talking about, the two fairy? <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. TV nights? What? What are you talking about? God, that car looks so okay. cool. You can come in now, son. <laughs> Was that like a boxing kangaroo on her shelf? My God. Oh no, she became the bat out of the hell. Yep, it's a spinal cord. <laughs> Stop that fucking pie! I can see a resemblance. I can't. I can't be sure. More pie, Sheriff? Pie? <laughs> Don't you realize what's happened? Oh, this game is fucking team. art. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. Yeah, they're all gonna be judging you for a leg or die. <laughs> Never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. No. All in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. <laughs> natural causes? Natural causes? Oh, don't you know everyone spontaneously combusts? You can't live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. Think I will have some more pie. <laughs> <laughs> right away. God, her teeth are so I perfect. I believe this. This is horrible. Believe me, you get to the point to where this is routine. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Dwayne the Dwayne. The clue we got is that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. What? You're just letting me read it? By order to harvest me, blah, 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 blah. See, basically, uh, presented to Sergeant Arnold's Committee of the Rights. This is practically a confession. This is evidence. This is a lot, huh? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? No, he's here to investigate the pie. Son, you don't investigate natural <laughs> deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Yeah. I'm sure you will. More pie, Sheriff? <laughs> don't well, mind if I, I do. do. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Have some pie? Yes, I would love some pie. Another skeleton family closet, eh? No, Steve. We're going to put her in the crypt. Keeping bodies in the house is just not sanitary. You should see your bathroom talk about sanitary. Hello, Steve. Miss Potsdam, I'm so sorry. Well, what family doesn't have its little problems? 
If it's not poor dental hygiene, it's a spinal column on the bed. Yeah. I don't suppose it hurt for you to take the card, seeing as it was addressed It's to you. evidence, isn't it? Shucks. I'm sorry I had to read it in the first place. But that's my job. Say, I wonder if there's more pie. <laughs> stop on by any time, Yeah, Steve. stop on by any time for pie and skeletons. A skull and spinal cord. Can't allow you to take her remains, boy. What kind of sicko are you, anyway? I mean, this kind of guy would get busted for child porn. That's what Steve is. I mean, I mean, that's literally canon, so... I wonder what happened if I, I... Oh, I can't go for the wall. Damn it, I was... I, I, I was gonna, like, look at him and see if, like, anything would happen. What do you want? Harvest will never be the same without DNA's diner. Or without DNA, for that matter. What about your daughter? What about Stephanie? Stop mumbling. Okay, he just completely forgot about her. Hey, and he doesn't even care. Okay. I guess he doesn't give a shit anymore now that she's dead. Whatever. Hey, I got your fucking card. Your birthday card. DNA's diner is no more. As is Edna herself. And her daughter. She hung herself as soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur. And a credit to our nation. I I had no idea she'd kill herself, even though I totally did. Come now. Anyone who spoke with her for five minutes would have known what a tragedy the destruction of her diner would be. Still, you sought to torch her diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. Wait, did I already do this? Only a trial to determine your worthiness. Did I already do this with the card and everything? Initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon. I'm gonna skip it. In the meantime, how I. You will not. Oh, yeah, I got the fucking sign here. Where's the card? D did I not grab the card? Oh my fucking god, I didn't grab the card. I'll be right back. God damn it. Okay, that was fucking annoying. I got the fucking stupid card though, here. Yeah, 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 but a horde of honor, blah, 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 blah. Here, I got your fucking stupid business card now. Let me into the door. You received the invitation. But you have not brought it. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe we're gatekeeping. I don't understand. The invitation was not the card, but the spinal. Then why did you write down the fucking card? Presented to me, ere I allow you to enter. You sick bastard! What have you done with Sesame? Step. I mean, not the Sesame. Stephanie. Are Any spi skull and spinal cord do? Or does it have to be this one? Ugh. Fine, I'll go to the fucking cemetery. I'll get the fucking cord, you fucking bastard. Gotta hate this fucking dickhead. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. We're in, baby. So do I... So can I just break it with my axe, or what? What am I doing here? Just... Whatever. What the fuck was that? Like a fucking hellhound. Okay, I'm, I'm still doing okay. 
A nauseous smell walks through within the unsealed sarcophagus. Here we go. D just a creepy dog. Yeah, let's try to, try to like get you in the combat. Give me that. Thank you. Don't know why there's a skeleton there. Just, just a fucking skeleton head. I guess Harvest owns this fucking crypt. Can I grab my ladder back? Nope. Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, cool. I grabbed the ladder back. That works for me. And finally, we're almost there. Now I'd go around town like I talked to everyone, but like, I would, but I mean, it's just a waste of time. Let's just go, okay? The fuck's a mystagog? And require that I turn over this sacred dagger to you to aid you in your quest. <laughs> That's a sacred dagger? It looks what like is a, this? looks like a cup holder. No, no, like a coaster, like a cup coaster. Like a like a like a like a like a must now. Like a like a wall hanger. Why is hostile? Get me killed. Both. I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. Okay, fair enough. This thing. You haven't said what it it's is. It's a dagger. He just it told you it's a fucking dagger. Weapon. Steve, were you not listening? Using it will be part of the initiation. Fine, I'll use it if I have to. You always have a choice, initiate. Which choices you make. Fuck, fuck the, fuck the ceremonial blade. That weapon sucks. I'm gonna use a fire axe. Did they want to understand a word what he just Is said? I kind of dozed off you. while I was talking. The membership director on the second level keeps track of such things. Great, thank you very oh, much. Then no, he you just told you where to go. He's not against you at all. Sergeant at arms. He's just fucking with you because it's funny. And it really is funny. Yeah, I remember, dude. Let me into the fun house now. Let me to like the carnival like now, circus fun house. Initiation. Begin. That is literally like a D&D bathrobe. That's like something you get on like fucking geek.com, you know, it's like 14.99 elf robe. Okay. I think this is as good as part as I need to stop. So when we go back in the next one, we'll be there. So bye.